when I had my first business, it was a great business, but I was starting to get bored and I started to resent the business because I was doing the same thing day in, day out. And I wanted the flexibility and freedom because I kind of realized, what is the point of having a business? And you can't, you don't have the lifestyle, you don't have the flexibility. And to me, it's the ultimate freedom is time freedom. I want to be able to do what I want, when I want, with who I want, as many times as I want. And to me, that's success, right? So I kind of realized I wanted to do have more businesses. Now, the first thing, if you're going to run multiple things, you can do multiple things, but you must only have one philosophy. You can't have multiple philosophies. So the first thing for me was, even though I have multiple businesses, I can, there's an overarching philosophy that connects them together, right? So I believe in something, and I'm essentially, if you ask me who I am, I, I would say I'm a teacher. And all my businesses are in advisory, training and mentoring, which are essentially forms of teaching. So I could have multiple businesses, but effectively all my businesses are doing something, doing the same thing, just in different markets in a different way, right? So my core specialty and what really makes me come alive is teaching. So one of the exercises that we get our clients to do is we ask them, who are you in spirit, who are you in mind, and who are you in your heart? For example, in my spirit, I'm a teacher. I know this about me 100%, right? So I love teaching, but in my mind, I'm an entrepreneur. Now, if I meet a person who is an entrepreneur by spirit, they're very different to me. They have this massive passion for building businesses. For me, building a business is a secondary skill set. Teaching is my primary skill set.